RPN or reverse polish notation on HP Prime is a pure joke. Here's what I'm talking about. So this calculator gives you the option to choose your entry, either textbook notation. If you pick textbook, that's probably what most people are used to uh, in this day and age with these uh, modern calculators. Uh, textbook pretty much uh, show you, shows you uh, stuff the way you would see it in a book, you know, the pretty print. And algebraic mode is gonna be uh, the more legacy uh, form like this one. Uh, and RPN is uh, a way of doing uh, math in itself. So the way you uh, do your operations while in RPN is very different from the way you would do your operation in algebraic or textbook mode. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about really quick. Uh, ch chances are if you are watching this video you probably know what RPN is already but I'm probably just gonna do this for the few people that might be watching us uh, that don't know what RPN is so if you wanna do 4 times 5 which is 20 then this is how you would normally do it on pretty much any calculator uh, you see uh, today and uh, RPN is uh, slightly different so if I go back to home here, I can change my entry from textbook or algebraic to RPN. Okay, so this is our RPN right here. If I choose RPN, now as you can see, my stack is completely different. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, erase everything on my stack. So if I wanna do a five, four times five like I did previously, so with RPN, you need to uh, tell the calculator what you wanna do first. So if you, you gotta do four first, put down the stack, tell the calculator, okay, I wanna work with four. Then the calculator is gonna ask what's next. Okay, I wanna do something with five at the same time. Okay, now, the calculator is gonna want you to, you know, to decide what you wanna do with these two numbers. If you press multiplication, then it's gonna multiply four by five, as you can see here, 20. So that's RPN for you. Let's do one more example. If we have a four, you put on the stack, then five, you put on the stack, then you can do divide, it's gonna divide four by five. As you can see, and it will return the answer in decimal. I believe this can be changed. Let me see. Okay, so the number format is a standard. I don't know if we can uh, make it. Okay, let's see. Uh, that is not gonna work. I don't think that is going to work. Okay, yeah, that's not really gonna change anything. The fix would just, uh, you know, it's just gonna ask you to uh, 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 define the precision okay so this is the RPN on the HP Prime it is pretty washed down and uh, HP was known for RPN back uh, back in the 80s if I recall or early not or, or 90s the, the late 90s is not the late 90s I believe it was mid 90s that's when they really started doing an RPN on their comp on their calculator I could be wrong but uh, I can't remember which uh, calculator first had a uh, RPN with HP, like a graphing calculator. I believe it was uh, the 48 series, but again, I could be wrong. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is the fact that this is uh, the latest calculator from HP and uh, they advertise this calculator as being uh, compatible with RPN is false advertisement. You know, all these, you know, all these things HP are saying is just, it's, it's just marketing. The RPN on this thing is literally trash, it's garbage. Nothing compared to this thing. Nothing compared to this one right here. This is a 49G Plus that came out in 2003, so about 20 years old. So this is what real RPN is. Okay, so this calculator is uh, already in RPN mode, but it also gives you the option to switch to algebraic mode. Those are the two mods, uh, two, two, two mods it's got. So algebraic and RPN, okay? So real RPN, this is what it looks like. So you can put uh, your entire expression here. If I wanted to solve an equation, I don't even have to, I never have to go back to algebraic. So this is how, how we normally solve a, like a, a quadratic equation. I can put two here. I don't even have to put my numbers on the stack and put a space X, put space and two again. So with RPN, is uh, th there's some learning curve to it. As you can see, this is not a tutorial for RPN, but uh, I'm just gonna, uh, this is just uh, uh, to prove my point that this one is far more capable when it comes to RPN than this one. This one is just I don't even know why it's there. You know, I would rather match. I, I would much rather HP not even include RPN on this thing at all. Maybe that would have fixed some of the bugs this calculator has. Okay, 
So I'm gonna do two x square uh, minus two x. Let's see. I'm trying to read it behind the camera. Minus two x square plus one. So this is really open over here. As you can see, I just put a quadratic equation on my stack without even going to the equation solver, which I could have done easily. By here, if I do this, put space and put my x and uh, put space two. And uh, if I try to do the same thing, see what the calculator does, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's just not really RPN, you know? Even if I do only, if I try to do only two things at the same time, just two X, you know, the mo most part is two X is really two times X. If I do multiplication, it's not gonna work. As you can see here, if I put two on the stack, my X on the stack, multiply the two, this is what it gives me. For some reason, it's giving me uh, a value for X, which is 3.16. And I am pretty sure I have not uh, done anything to this calculator, uh, which will uh, make the x uh, default to 3.166. To prove my point, I'm gonna bring, uh, I'm gonna pull up the app, the HP app, with uh, uh, with nothing on it, and uh, and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the app right here. So this is an Android phone. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, reset the whole thing. I'm gonna clear the data. So it is like, uh, it's going to be like a freshly new install. I also have the pro version, which lets me uh, connect it to a computer. As you can see, we're going to set it up from scratch with nothing on it. And uh, we're just going to change the mod really quick from textbook again to RPN entry. As you can see, if you go home and press X, press enter. Okay, so I guess I was wrong, but that's not the point. <laughs> okay, I've had this calculator for a while, but again, that's not the point. Okay, that's, that's not the point. None of, my, none of my videos are planned, so none of my videos are scripted. So <laughs> I guess I must have done something to X. I can't quite remember. I have to go back and figure it out. But anyways, it's not supposed to do that. As you can see, this is a brand new, pretty much a brand new calculator that I just set up. And uh, I can't do uh, the stuff I do here. As you can see, two X, if I do multiplication, it just gives me zero for some reason. So yeah, and uh, you, cannot, you cannot use RPN in, uh, in cast mode so everything I did was uh, in home if I clear my stack here as you can see uh, the mod is RPN but under cast you cannot choose RPN cast just operates in algebraic mode you know there's no what that there's nothing you can do about it as you can see cast operate in uh, algebraic mode RPN is not available with cast as you can see so yeah so that is that so I don't even know I don't know why they did what they did but uh, it really doesn't make any sense for them to have uh, such a washed down RPN on such a powerful uh, calculator. The most, well, I'm not gonna say the most powerful because powerful can be interpreted, can, can be uh, interpreted in a different way, in a different way. It is the fastest calculator, that's, but when it comes to most powerful, I don't know about that. But it is for sure uh, the fastest calculator when it comes to uh, most things, okay? So yeah, that is that. and. Uh, I just wanted to make a video and uh, say that the RPN is uh, trash on the Prime. If nobody is going to say it, then I will. Okay, so here this is the real RPN. This is as real as it, uh, as it gets. And if you go to same, you can just uh, solve this quickly. As you can see, we turned your complex solutions, as you can see, which is kind of neat. Anyways, if you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section. And with that being said, I'm out. This is actually the first time I make a... <laughs> This one of the very few times I make a video that doesn't last uh, 20 minutes. Anyways, take care.